Yes. Hi. It's Friday. Are you here for Friday? Because I'm here for Friday. <laughs> Welcome, divas. It's another Friday. I'm Megan Enan. And this is when we talk about all sorts of yay like things. So I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that there's just all of your favorite things in today. So I want to talk about income generating activities today. That's what we're focusing on. That's what we're doing. So the whole idea of today's Friday is to think about what the heck is an income generating activity? And that's the first one, right? And then how do I get more of those in my life? <laughs> so as musicians, as freelance artists of any type, you are responsible for income generating activities in your business. And I would like for you to think through that right now with me today. As I've told you in previous Fridays about my coaching stuff, and you can see a link for it, I think somewhere as part of this, uh, as part of my coaching framework, we talk about offers, clients, and systems. And offers are the verbs that you want to get paid for. So is that I perform, I compose, I write, I teach, I dance, I paint, I whatever it is. I So fill in your verbs, like what are your offers? So and once you've done this the first time, I want you to challenge yourself to go a little bit farther because when I say I sing, there are multiple offers that are involved with that. So in my singing life, I do live performances, right? That's one thing. Um, as part of singing, I also do recordings. I also do reading sessions. I also do uh, I, all sorts of things related to that. So. Can you break it down a little bit more in case your one verb could have multiple offers in it, right? Break that down. So we've gotten from our verbs to offers, right? What is it that you do? So if you teach, what are all of the ways that you teach, right? If you, so one of the things that I like to remind people is sometimes like adjudicating is part of, could be considered teaching, but adjudicating could also be mentoring things think about this like that's another income generating activity so you see where i'm going your offers are income generating activities that you do and i want you to think about what are the ones that i'm focusing on right now coming back to this idea if you're a freelancer you are responsible for your income generating activities all the time if you are not a freelancer, if you are working in a salaried position or you have a study job, that's one time. You One time you've had to like land the income generating activity. And that's great, right? Because maybe it opens you up to do, to think about other income generating activities. And then you're able to think through this. But I can understand if you've been working in a position or you're, you're a regular contractor at something like that, that perhaps having to think through what are my income generating activities? And then how do I make those happen regularly is a challenge at the beginning of things. I get that. I get that. So that's one of the things that I'm having you think about right now is, okay, what are my offers and how am I setting those up so that they are generating income? Some of your offers you're doing right now and you're not getting paid for them. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's funny because I think I want you to get, be getting paid for the things that you do. I want you to be getting paid for the work that you do. So, so ask yourself, how could I renegotiate this offer so that I'm getting paid or that I'm getting a positive exchange of value? You know that I'm all about that positive exchange of value situation. So when you're thinking about this, I want you to go, okay, what are all of my offers? What am I doing consistently? Are some of these generating income right now? How regularly are they generating income? Can I negotiate my rates with the things that I'm doing right now so that they can generate more income if that's a thing that you want in your life? A lot of people come to me because they are not making as much money as they want to in their businesses and their creative businesses. And so if you are making the money that you want to make in life, then great. Like go, go on with yourself. So if you're not, let's think through some of these things, right? Cause I want you to be having a financially free life. And that means also having like time freedom. And so when you're thinking about that, 
ask yourself like, okay, uh, I've talked about my offers. I've talked about my rates for my offers, but then ask yourself, how do I get paid for these things? How do I get paid for the things that I'm doing? And do people know that they can pay me for this regularly? So does this make sense where we're going with this idea is first you have to set up like, what is it that you do? How do people pay you for this, right? How, what is it that you do? And then ask yourself like, am I already getting paid for that? Great, can I grow that? Then you go, how do people pay me for this? This is where we start to talk about the systems side of our life is if you are really messy about your business systems when it comes to this, you are basically, I don't wanna to get too woo woo about it, but you are like pushing money away in your life and you're saying like, no thanks, I don't really need this. I don't need this financial support in my life to do what I wanna do. <laughs> And that's fine. You keep it. I like doing work for free. So I want you to really think through this one more time. If you are messy about asking to be paid, getting paid, how people pay you, you are basically telling the universe, I don't want to get paid. So I would like for you to say, no, I do want to get paid. When you are setting up the information about what's happening, your performance, your commission, your um, commissions can be for lots of things, right? Your, your lessons, your teaching, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever your offer is, when you're setting up the, the other details around this, I want you to be very clear about what is your fee? How are they going to pay you? When is that going to arrive? What method are you going to use? These are business systems. And I, you don't have to be overly businessy about it. It's just a matter of being clear about expectations. Contracts make for better friends because you can just say, hey, I get I use contracts for everything that I do because it makes um, it makes missed or un understood expectations a thing of the past. And so I want to make sure that we are on the same page together. And so can you tell me if this is is accurate or if you have any questions about how this works? So you're setting up all of this information because these are just these are just, just details that go along with it. If they asked you to be like if they asked you for a specific rep on something, then you can ask, how am I going to get paid for this? <laughs> like, and that's that's not rude. That's just saying like, great, I'm so excited that we're entering into this commitment together. And here are some other details that I need to know about so that I can do what I need to do and be prepared and ready to go and like have a great time together and make like musical magic happen, all of that great stuff. So this is what I want you to be thinking through. Do I have a system? where I'm clear about what I'm getting paid, how I'm getting paid, when I'm getting paid, all of that stuff, right? So go through your offers and ask yourself, Do I, is it clear, one, that people can pay me for this, right? Can they come to your website and then book whatever it is with you? This can be as simple as saying, you know, book a performance, click here or get in touch, right? It doesn't have to be like a full store for performances. But if you have items, right, if you have uh, practicing guides or something like that, build a store for it, make make it very easy for people to pay you in the middle of the night when they're like, <laughs> maybe they're in a totally different time zone than you are, make it easy so that you don't have to be there and be the person who's sending it to them, just be like, here you go, have this. Thank you for paying me for like the work that I've done and for the, the expertise that I'm sharing here. So can they go to your hub of information, which is usually your website, find that you have these offers and then take the next step with you. These, this is really important, right? Once they've taken that step to secure the time, place, et cetera, of the offer happening, is it easy for them to pay you? Do do you invoice them regularly? Can they pay you through different payment systems? How, do you have these things set up in your life? If not, just pick one, just pick one today, write down a few things for each one of your offers. If it's teaching, say, okay, for teaching, if you're already, if you're doing it in a way where it's like you take cash from some students and like you like have other students pay, like Venmo you or what, well, I don't care how you're doing it, but I want you to go through and go, when teaching, they pay me in this method on this date, this is how this happens, and then start to implement that in your studio, right? Same thing for performing. It's like, this is 
so when I perform, they pay me in these methods and you can name multiple methods. If you're comfortable with getting paid via a check or getting paid via ACH or getting paid I, I, via whatever it is, but also just be very clear about your terms. Maybe you have a term that's like, if I have a performance and I get paid, I need to get paid within two weeks of that performance. That's still a huge buffer time. Like I would really like to either get the check beforehand or at the performance, right? But sometimes that's not the case when you're working with universities who have weird pay schedules and all of that stuff. So I, you can still communicate with the people who are making those decisions and and work out what the process is going to be. It's not scary. It, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that you are on top of your business structures, infrastructure, right? So when you know what your offers are, how you're getting paid for them, that it's easy for people to find them and pay you for those things, then you can start thinking about generating more income, right? You can go, oh, okay, so if I book X number of students, I'm going to be making closer to my ideal amount each month, each year, whatever. If I take on X number of singing gigs at this amount of money, that's going to get me closer to this goal. And then you can start to hustle with those things in mind, right? Not just mindless activity, not just mindless hustling, right? You can say, hmm, what I'm really missing here is I actually need a gig that pays me X number of dollars to meet my goal during this quarter or whatever it is. Then start there and say, what's the most likely possibility for me getting a gig that pays me in this range? Focus on getting that gig, right? So that may sound a little uh, simplistic at this point, but honestly, just start there. Start there and see what happens. So if you, I bet that there are a few things in here which might be confusing. So certain things like setting your rates to know how much you want to be making from each month, each quarter, each year for the offers that you're providing. Maybe start there, right? If you don't remember how to set your rates, there's a Friday video for it. So please go check that out. Uh, if you aren't sure what your offers are, come coach with me. I don't, I'll like, we'll spell it out. We'll think if, it, if you're unsure about how to do any of these payment processing like systems, if you're unsure how to set that up, if you're unsure how to set up a store on your website, come talk to me, come talk to me, come find me. We can make this happen. It does not have to be a mountain that you cannot summit, okay? You can do this, you can do it easily. We can chunk it down, we can turn it into micro action so you can actually get this done before the new year, right? Can you imagine making like, making sales from your website be like before the year is out? We can do this, we can make this happen. <laughs> So you can make this happen. That's what I'm trying to say. This is a Friday for you where I'm talking about your income generating activities. I want you to think through what they are. And then I want you to ask yourself if you want them to be doing more for you. And if you do, you have the power. You can do that. You can generate more income. It's amazing. Isn't that crazy? It's so cool. <laughs> okay, that's it. Divas, I want you to be living your best lives as always. And that means like, healthy, wealthy, and, and wise. And so just know that I care about you and I want you to be having your best creatively professional life that you can have, right? And so with that, stay sparkly inside and out. Come talk to me if you need my help. I'm here for you. <laughs>